functional groups are groups of atoms and bonds that are responsible for the reactions that a molecule can undergo and they're also responsible for the name we will name our molecules so these are really important in organic chemistry let's get started first we will talk about alkanes an alkane is a hydrocarbon molecule so this molecule consists of hydrogens and carbons and the defining factor is that it has only single bonds between the carbon atoms so here we see that i have ch3 with single bond ch3 we will not see any double or triple bonds in this molecule this is an example i have four carbons here you can see that they're all bonded through single bonds and the name is butane but means four and ane means i have an alkane another functional functional group could be a c double bond c so if we have a double bond between two carbons this is called an alkene now notice that my molecule has R groups. What are R groups? These just represent the rest of the molecule. In this session, we are focusing on functional groups. So generally, you will see my functional groups highlighted in red, so you can identify them easily. And you will see R a lot of times, and that just represents the rest of the molecule. So here, we can see that my functional group is C double bond C. If we have a C double bond C, we have an alkene. An example here is 2-butene. I have a double bond on the second carbon of this molecule. So C double bond C, I have an alkene. If I have a C triple bond C, if I have a triple bond, that's an alkyne ending in ine. For example, here I have a triple bond. This is called 2-butyne. Notice that the AND it shows us what kind of functional group we have. AND means we have alkane. IN means we have alkene. ine means we have alkyne. Single, double, triple. What other functional groups are there? We can also have a halogen attached to our molecule. Halogens are elements in group 17 of the periodic table, such as chlorine, bromine, or iodine. So if you see any of these, then this is called alkyl halide. For example, this molecule is 2-chlorobutane. We see that our functional group here is chlorine. We can also have an OH as a functional group. If our molecule is attached to an OH, this is an alcohol. For example, here I am showing you a molecule where OH is on the second carbon. The name is 2-butanol. Again, if you see an OH, that's an alcohol. Next, what else can we have? We can have a C double bond O. Actually, we will see C double bond O in many molecules. This is called a carbonyl group. Specifically, if we have a C double bond O attached to a carbon that is attached to two other carbons, so in between carbons, this is called a ketone ending in own. Let's go ahead and see how we can recognize it. I see here that I have a C double bond O. I need to look to the left and to the right. What is my C double bond O attached to? Carbon on the left, carbon on the right. That's a ketone. Again, C double bond O needs to be attached to carbons. So in this case, this is called B2-butanone. I can also have a C double bond O attached to a hydrogen on one side and a carbon on the other. That is called an aldehyde. For example, in this molecule, I can see that my C double bond O is attached to a carbon on the left and a hydrogen on the right. And the name for this molecule is butanal, L, because it's an aldehyde. Another very, very uh, important functional group is carboxylic acid. The functional group is C double bond O, OH. If you see a C double bond O, OH, so they are attached to each other, C double bond O and then OH attached to the same carbon that the C double bond O has, this is a carboxylic acid. For example, in this molecule, we see this group on the right. This molecule is called butanoic acid, oic acid, because it's a carboxylic acid. 
Next, another t place we will see a C double bond O, a carbonyl, is an ester. Ester functional group is when we have a C double bond O attached to an O that is attached to another carbon. So for example, here we have a C double bond O attached to an O that is attached to a carbon. This is an ester. This functional group is an ester. It's very important to be able to recognize between all these different types of functional groups. Notice that a lot of them have a double bond O. So this is a C double bond O, O next to a carbon. This molecule is called ethyl acetate. We can also have an ether. An ether is when we have an oxygen in between two carbons. So if you see that you have an oxygen attached to carbon on the left and carbon on the right, that's an ether. This molecule is called diethyl ether. These functional groups are not as popular, but we will still go through them, these two, and then these are very important as well. Thiol is when we have an SH group. So if you see that your molecule is attached to an SH group, that's a thiol. This one is 1-butane thiol. If your sulfur is attached to two carbons, this is sulfide. For example, here I see sulfur attached to two carbons. This is diethyl sulfide. Amide and amine are really important functional groups as well. Amide is when we have a C double bond O attached to a nitrogen that's attached to either hydrogens or carbons. So here I see C double bond O attached to NH2. This functional group is an amide. This example is butanamide. Fine. Next, I have an amine. An amine is when I have nitrogen attached to either carbon, so hydrogen, so attached to three R groups. For example, here I have a nitrogen attached to a hydrogen, a carbon on the right and a carbon, a carbon on the right and a carbon on the left. This is called diethyl amine. Next, anhydride. Anhydride is when I have a C double bond O next to an oxygen, next to another C double bond O. So in this functional group, we have C two carbonyl groups, two C double bond O groups with an oxygen in between them. We can recognize this functional group here. This is called acidic and hydride, this molecule, this specific example. If my functional group is CN, C triple bond N, this is called nitrile. So if we see that we have a CN attached to the molecule, this is a nitrile functional group. For example, this is propane nitrile. Next, we will see in organic chemistry too, we will use these molecules a lot, acyl halides. If we see a C double bond O attached to a halogen, such as chlorine, bromine, or iodine, this functional group is called acyl halide. For example, here, I'm sorry, I was, this is supposed to be um, a carbon, not an R group, just a carbon. This is called acetyl chloride. Finally, if I have a benz this cyclohexane with three double bonds, this is called a benzene ring, then I have an aromatic functional group. The most popular example is just benzene. This is an example of an aromatic functional group. In the next video, we will do some practice, so let's get going.